right so uh yeah let's uh, continue this so uh, the next area i'm looking to define is this crease here this laugh line so yeah i think that's where i will that's where i will uh, define next so to do that i'll just extrude this end here one two so i'm just going around this line and also keep in mind i'm trying to match this previous uh, loop that i did around there so yeah i think something like this should be fine then yeah, i'm going to fill in these faces fill this in fill this in yep so i would take this all the way like just to follow the line of this crease so just selecting each vertices and edges and moving them individually and i'll exclude this one more time and maybe make it a bit tighter because i want this crease around the nose so to be kind of obvious yeah so i'll make this tight something like this should be fine yeah so for this other part I'll, i'm just going to extrude this to uh, follow the initial loop that we did this and this in the center f to fill f to fill f to fill this yeah so uh, the next thing i want to define is a loop going all the way around the nose and yeah just going around the nose we don't want going around the eyes we don't the loop going around the, around the mouth as you can see the as you can see here different loops going around the mouth so now i want to do a, a particular look and we've also done around the bridge of the nose all the way to the jaw area so the next thing area i want to define is the loop going around the nose so this particular area is not always out of it yeah it's not always uh, as necessary as uh, the eyes and the mouth because the nose in most cases does not usually not usually before and in some cases this loop might not be what you want it depend on the uh, information you want for the character but generally i feel this is yeah this is all right so now i just want to match this with this all the way right here so i'll extrude each extrude and bring it here so select this four and fill it so now I'm just selecting these two, I would extrude it once B. Move the points to position them well. Now after getting here, I want to match it with the mouth with the loop with the loop going around the mouth too. So this one matches with this. Extrude again. This matches with this and extrude one more time. Yeah, this matches with this. So now I can start filling in this area and also this loop here as I said it goes around the all the way around the nose. So fill this in, fill this in, and uh, yeah, now I'm left with these two patches. I'll just add two loop cuts just to match it. Select this fill and fill and fill. So uh yeah, this crease is not actually that defined. There are ways to go about it too, but yeah, let me let me quickly just do that. So I'll select this line where the crease starts from and I want to split start from and I want to split it. So to do that I just press V split and yeah. So I think right here I'll create a diamond junction so that's like having like a one two three four yeah four pieces here so to create this tight edge and i'll extrude this all the way up here select this four f to fill select this four f to fill and this last loop f to fill it should be i think it should be tighter it should be tighter Okay, actually, I think I could still go a bit further. That's splitting this, extruding this to come all the way up here. 
fill this area fill this area yeah so i think the crease will be a bit more defined with this and particular method and it also works too for animation so there's no need to be scared about that now let me just complete the bridge of the nose it to extrude i'll bring this in uh, inside the bits it to extrude again uh it to extrude get to the tip of the nose uh yeah so i'm just going to match this up with this two uh, areas here yeah. so to do that i'll just select this e to extrude e to extrude and i think yeah i'm okay with this select this select this f to fill maybe add the, another loop for just to get that uh, extra detail yeah so uh, bottom part of the nose extrude it all the way to and select this f so the same thing with this extrude this one extrude it again so i'm just trying to match this i might end up deleting uh, some edges later on if i realize they are much but for now yeah just going as i'm just going along with my instinct Now to fill in this area. So I'll start by extruding this once. Let's match this. Extrude this again to match this and yep. I need to figure out how to go about this. Move this. And move this. So I think I want this face to meet with this. So maybe I will join this together. Select this to M to merge and at last, yeah, I want it to merge with this. So maybe fill in this face and select this. Fill in this other face. Now, how do I fill this? How do I fill this? How do I fill this? Okay, I think I can just add a loop cut here because. Currently looking at it, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I'm to fill, yeah, this should be fine. Fill this in. That's four faces. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So uh, I don't think this topology is quite alright, but yeah, the nose doesn't deform that much. So it should be fine for animation. F to fill and so I actually thought I would need to delete a few loops, but it looks like I will have to add. So I actually thought I would need to delete a few loops, but it looks like I will have to add an extra. So I'll add one here. Four faces, F to fill. Fill this, fill this, and fill this. Okay, maybe I'll add another loop cut here. Yeah. Four, I need a four faces always, not three. So, yeah, in case you're wondering what I'm using to bring this up, I'm using the backslash key on my keyboard. Let me turn on my screencast key so you can see it. Yeah, so the backslash key brings the selected object, isolate the selected object alone. So, if I press it, it's isolated. If I press it again, it will undo that. Yeah, so the jaw area I'm going to extrude this the edge of the jaw here yeah. and yeah now extruding it to match with this initial uh, edge here so F to fill F to fill F to fill and maybe bring this up here like this F to fill so the shape of this edge is it's quite unique so this would not work for a this particular topology now looking at it, it would not work for a realistic edge size so um yeah probably i'll make another video regarding that so f to fill f to fill yeah usually there is a loop going all the way from here to here but it does not usually mix with the nose with this going around the loop so you really need to fill in like a grid fill around the chin, the cheek area. So 
extrude e to extrude e to extrude and e to extrude again f to fill 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 and adding a loop cut here yeah so i believe i'm almost so if i should hide this yeah it's okay apparently and if you want to see more details you can always increase the, the resolution of the submission with fire come back let me on hide that and hide the air i don't need it one. yeah so uh back to the nose all i'm going to be doing now is just filling in necessary areas so add a look cut here and fill this and now i'll just extrude a loop for the nostrils extrude 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 you notice i'm matching up with i'm trying to match it with uh m20 so you can see clearly with the existing loop cuts or with the existing loop rather not loop cuts and when i'm always done i'll just select the four here and f to fill then go ahead and fill that loop so usually i usually want even number of uh vertices around here so i can easily just grid fill it or something so statistic yeah if you turn on these statistics in your overlay you can see the number of vertices you have selected the number of active uh, vertices in the scene and all so i have 220 but uh, vertices and, and i have 10 vertices selected so you can just going to extrude this inward in bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and fill this in and fill all the way around just by using F. I'll just fill this fill. Okay. Now you can easily just fill this by selecting this loop and pressing Ctrl F and clicking on read fill. Yeah, I can tweak the uh, settings just with this and span and offset. Yeah, I think this is better. Yeah. So for the back of the head, maybe I'll just extrude this. Extrude this. Add the loop cuts here. Upward, extrude and fill this part in. Fill this part in also. Extrude, extrude, extrude. Fill this in. Extrude this and fill this in. Fill this in. Yeah, and uh, just like that, we are almost done with the, with the head. So let me hide this and see. Yeah, almost just the ear and the neck. So on eye that. And the eye the ear. I'm just going to extrude this downward, extrude it downward. Extrude this backward and fill in this hand. Stop here. How do you go? So extrude this, fill this in, 
Let me sell this blue. So extrude this to this end. Okay, I think this should work. Extrude and extrude and extrude to do this in, do this in and do this in. Yeah, so uh, I think I've gotten to the neck area, so I'll just extrude this, try to create like a circle going all the way around the neck. So remember I started from here, so I'll come back here, create this and uh, extrude one more time. Yeah, this should be perfect. Feel this, oh, sorry. Yeah, so select this for fill it now. Select this two. And I remember our F2 add on that we enabled from last video. So now, if you want to uh, extrude this all the way downward, you might have okay, I think it worked fine, but okay, now okay. But in most cases, I usually turn this off when I want to extrude something like this, like a two, because in some time, in some cases, it usually uh, affects the, the look. Or the behavior of the vertices, so I'll just extrude this a little bit, then extrude all the way down, extrude all the way down. Yeah, perfect. So for the ears, probably I think I'll start with the back of the ear, extrude this, okay, turn this back on. So extrude this extrude this so usually i just print some vertices and then try try to go in out out how to fill in the faces in those areas so and yeah it usually works fine for me so i'll move this up and yeah in some cases what might be easier is uh working with this working with your uh, references so uh yeah so my references that i can recommend is uh you can search for um, pushing points yeah i think they have a book that you can use for the topology and yeah in, i usually like when i first get started i usually use the pushing points pushing points and uh, images like they have some images if you check you start it on uh if you search pushing points on pinterest or or just on google you see some uh, Images on it. Yeah, so I think I'll just use this to create a loop around going around here. So uh yeah, like I was saying if you strictly want to want to go for a particular style or you're looking for a reference of how the um, vertices should be overlaid. Something I did like I said, like I mentioned previously, I use uh, references so that's uh, Yeah, I have a yeah, I have a folder where I organize most of my references. Yeah, so these are some of the images from the pushing points. This. These two, and if you notice all the uh, the arrangement of the vertices, all the all the topology that are usually are uh, actually similar for different for different faces. So they have a loop going around the eyes, they have a loop going around the nose and the lower part of the jaw, a loop going around the mouth, and yeah, usually there's one going around the head. But for this, yeah, this is actually a nice one. 
to and doesn't know. What is this? Uh, I'm having the cuts with this. I'm just going to extrude this all around the outer part of the ear. through this one more time Uh, this topology here is quite. Uh, oh, I'll see. It does not do justice to the uh, shape of the ear in particular, but nah, it's fine in this case. So now, just need to extrude this. Now, just need to extrude this. Extrude. So basically just same process with the entire the entire geometry of the office. Okay, and I think I've mentioned it earlier so that the year does not require any special kind of um, except in cases where you might want to animate the year in a specific kind of way. But in most cases the year don't usually perform along with the animation. Now something like the where I said I needed yeah, yeah, like an even number of pieces. If I try filling this with grid view, you will see an, an error here. That's because of the it's currently an odd number and grid view using number. So if I select it now after adding the blue cuts now there are ten uh, there are ten vertices there, control F and grid view. You can see that it works right now. Alright, so yeah, I think that's uh, all for the face. I'll just uh, maybe extend this out to the bits. And why is this clipping? Yeah, it's working. Extrude, 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 extrude. Uh. Right, so now I can just go ahead and fill this in. So and uh, now maybe I'll just move this to a separate collection. The collection has called the sculpts. And 
then switch it and unhide every other thing you know, on ID code too. Uh yeah, I'll show you the wireframe. Now we have a nice uh, topology and okay, I think yeah, the air. For the air, I can either use the now I'll show you two methods of going about the air. And I think I've made I made a video on that so you can use this uh exercise question measure set the count I think two thousand should be no, two thousand actually should be okay for the air and just click on remesh and the add on will do the rest for you. So this should take a few seconds. Kind of taking longer than expected. And you could always see the progress down here. And uh, it's done. So yeah, you notice there's quite a lot of details that have been amazing from this. So something you can do, I'll unhide the air and move this to the sculpt. Yeah, so I'll just activate this for now. The air that is the Icosphere 001. So select this uh, newly topologized air, add in a subdivision modifier, then add in a shrink wrap modifier and select this as the total to get more details right click shade smooth and yeah perfect so uh yeah that's uh that's basically my process for the topology okay you can see a little bit of error here so uh, to fix that i just turn this off and move this vertices around so it works on and yeah that's my process of uh, the topology I might eventually go on and texture this in substance or probably procedurally here in Blender. I don't know. But yeah, we'll see you in the next video.